So hey guys, let's get started. So now what I'm doing is I got a pair of my husband's old shirt and I made sure I cut up the sleeve so I can use that as an outline to um, cut out the, the lining. So now I'm repeating that same process for the the front of the jacket. So the first piece that I cut off was the back of the jacket. And now I'm using the back of the jacket to cut up the front of the jacket. So instead of using the t-shirt, I'm just going to use that um, first piece that I cut out from the t-shirt and just use that to outline the front of the jacket. And then after you have cut out the front of the jacket and you all you also know that the front of the jacket is gonna be open so I'm just gonna cut that in half because that's where it's gonna be open so yeah so don't forget to cut out the opening part and now guys I'm just gonna attach the um, front of the jacket to the back and then um, pin it together so I can sew around wherever I put I place the pin so yeah guys so now what I'm doing is I'm just pinning the jacket um, together so wherever I'm pinning up that's where I'm gonna sew so also um, another tip make sure you do the same process that you did for the outside of the jacket make sure you do that same process for the inside the back end also so the same way you cut out this pieces cut that same pieces for the back end also because the back end and um, the outside of the jacket you are gonna sew those two pieces together but for now whatever you are doing to the outside of the back end um, sorry about that whatever you were doing for the outside of the jacket make sure you repeat that same process for the inside of the back end also Upward or downward this way. So the, the the good side is up and the inner part is facing down. So you're gonna lay that part like that. And then I've already sewed the back and also right there. So this so for this part of the video, what you're gonna do is for this part of the jacket, what you're gonna do is um lay this one facing face the 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 in the the wrong side or if the bad side should be should be facing outward and the good side should be facing inward on top of the jacket which is the, the good part of the jacket is facing upward and the inner part is just facing downward so you're just gonna put it on top of each other like so part you don't want to be out of the jacket so this one is going to be hidden inside. So this part should be facing upward so that it's on top of this like so. So you're going to pin it on top of each other. So you get your pin and you pin it on top of each other. So yeah guys, I'm just um, pinning the um, back end on the coat. So what? Um, basically just follow what I'm doing. I'm not really, 
I'm not really good at explaining things much, but basically just follow what I'm doing. I'm just attaching the back end to the outside of the coat itself so that when you flip it over, um, you will see the neater part of the jacket if you understand what I'm saying. I hope this helped, guys. I'm sorry. And then after you've done this process guys then you go sew the part that you actually put the that I'm putting the pin on so after this process then you sew around those area where you have put the pin we're back from sewing it so what you want to do now is open so this is the bottom part where you should have not sewn so right there so you see so what you're gonna do flip it out because these are the sleeve part so you want to flip it out so that when you flip it out so as you can see you see the good part is actually facing outward so it should be like this. So this is the inside of the jacket and this is the outside of the jacket. So what you actually want to do, so just make sure you straighten it out. So what you actually want to do next is just run some iron over it, like press it down so it can all straighten out. So I'm gonna go and press it out because this is, this should be the neck, this should be the neck part right here so if you can see like so you close it should be like yeah, come on. like this should be like like that so so yeah guys this is how the jacket look like once I've pressed it down with some iron you see how it's much more neater and straightened out so make sure you never forget this process to always press and iron the item actually yeah And next we're gonna cut out the sleeves for the jacket I'm actually gonna show you guys how I actually cut out um, my sleeves for my trench coat so I'm just trying to measure it to make sure it's big enough usually I don't like when the if I have a trench coat and the sleeve is too tight so I usually tend to leave, um, leave out a lot of space so so if you can look at the process because I'm not really sure how to explain this but you if you look at the video and see what I'm actually doing so the the way I cut out my sleeve um, for easy beginner is just make sure you outline the sleeve on the jacket to make sure it perfectly fit and then you're gonna start cutting make sure it fit the hole so see how I'm leaving um, some space so make sure it fit the hole before you start cutting out to the trench coat and it looks like like this so those are the sleeves right there looks like I said that's the neck and that's the arm so next so next we're just sewing the um, ankle part of the sleeve in place And now in this part we're just hemming the bottom part of the jacket so that's all we're doing now we are done we're done hemming the bottom so that's everything basically so guys the last part is optional that's if you want to but what I'm doing is I'm putting buttons on the trench coat I'm not really going to create a hole for the buttons to um, for the trench coat to button up because I don't like it when my trench coat button up so the buttons um, the reason for putting the buttons is just for um, decoration or for the design sake so yeah
I usually go two times, so that's where I stop. I do it two times and I stop there. And to lock it, I just go back from the back, put it through the loop, and then put it through the other loop and just tie the knot right there. And yeah guys, so this is the finished result of the jacket and I hope you guys really loved it and I hope it was really helpful. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you are new to our channel and you guys have a blessed day. Bye guys.